Easy Rider was such a strange, uh, strange beginning because we went in to pitch this to Bob Rafelson and Bert Schneider, who were friends, you know. And Peter couldn't, couldn't stop talking about Easy Rider, which at that time was called The Loners. And he said, uh, you know, we're going to make this movie, uh, The Loners, and uh, AIP is going to give us the money. But we're having a little problem now because they promised us that, that Dennis could direct and act in the picture. But now they're just going to, they say he's got to make a choice, either can direct or act, but he can't do both. So out of that, they gave us the money. They gave us $340,000 to make the movie. But first they gave me just, uh, I think it was 12000 to go and shoot in New Orleans, Mardi Gras, in 16 millimeter. And if that went well, then they would give us the rest of the money. Well, it was a disaster in New Orleans. And I got a bunch of friends who had 16 millimeter cameras and who all wanted to be directors, five friends of mine, to go with me down to New Orleans to shoot. And I said, the one thing you must not do, you must never shoot any film unless I tell you to. Well, every time I turned around, they were shooting another thing, you know? And I was screaming, yelling, fighting. At the end of it, Bill Hayward, my brother-in-law at that time, and Peter Fonda, who had grown up together, who were partners, started recording me. And they took these tapes back to Schneider, saying, we'll give you the money back. We really want to apologize. Hopper's obviously lost it. Listen to these tapes. And here I am saying, I asked for a yellow light and a red light and a green light. That's all I asked for in the cemetery. Where the fuck are they? You blah, blah, blah. You know, and this maniac screaming, I'm going to win the con film, blah, blah, blah. Crazy out of my mind. And who's over there? And starting fights in the middle of the street. And they're recording me. Nobody's doing anything, just recording me. So Schneider says, well, you know, he really sounds excited. But did he ask for those lights? And why weren't the lights there? You know, I hired him to direct this movie. I'm not replacing him. The public, though, I think, went for the picture because they felt we were up to something real. Uh, 